Welcome back to Infigyan friends. In this video, we are going to take up one very interesting radical challenge from trigonometric equations. We have to solve fourth root of half plus half times square root of half plus half times square root of half plus half times cos 8x equal to sin x. We will find out principle as well as general solution. So let's get started. I will begin with LHS. See this value I am going to simplify first and that simplification will be based on one algebraic identity in but in this case it would be trigonometric identity that is cosine 2 theta formula we know that cos 2 theta is equal to 2 cos square theta minus 1 this is one identity which i will use here so if i will calculate cos of 8x that means its formula will be 2 cos square 4x half angle or double angle formula minus 1. So here I am going to put that value cos 8x. So once I will put over there, let me write that portion only half plus half cos 8x equal to square root of half plus half in that place I will write 2 cos square 4x minus 1 see what will happen once you will expand I will write a square root of half plus cos square x cos square 4x minus half now I will cancel plus half and minus half square root of cos square 4x I will write cos 4x okay so this complete square root section means up to this point this value is cos 4x again what will happen let me write over there fourth root of only this segment we will replace with cos 4x let me write means I am going to consider this term or replace this term with cos 4x so it will become fourth root of half plus half square root of half plus half cosine 4x right hand side is as it is sin x Okay, now same job I will apply again. So cos 4x this time I will write 2 cos square x. Let me write half plus half square root half plus half. And then here I will write 2 cos square 2x minus 1. equal to sin x as it is unchanged let's expand this so i will write here half plus cos square x cos square 2x minus half this time i will cancel these two terms so square root of so this term would be square root of now i will cancel this square and square root so ultimately i am converging towards the simplification result which will become fourth root of half plus half and this complete segment I will replace with cos 2x equal to sin x done again same formula cos 2x is 2 cos square x minus 1 so let me apply that formula first so I will write fourth root of half plus half 2 cos square x minus 1 equal to sin x. Now I will write fourth root of half plus expanded. So half and 2 will be over cos square x minus half. This time we will cancel final time half and minus half. See what we are getting finally. 
fourth root of cos square x equal to sin x. So fourth root of cos square x equal to sin x. Okay, done. Now fourth root and cos square. So let me write this would become cos x whole power means it is power 2 times 1 by 4. So 2 and 4 you will cancel like this and right hand side is sin x. So ultimately what is left is square root cos x equal to sin x is our original trigonometric equation which is transformed into this form of radical equation. Now few points are important. See once we are talking about quadrant analysis. So first, second, third and fourth. If I will calculate our x value, left hand side if you will see, it should be for general solution if I am writing, then it should be positive always. Otherwise, complex solution will generate. So where cosine x is positive, that is quadrant number 1 and quadrant number 4 only. But in quadrant number 4, sin x will be negative. See the best part of this question is right hand side will be negative in fourth quadrant. So we will accept only first quadrant solution. This would be rejected. Let us solve then we will talk about. Take whole square both sides. Cos x is equal to sin square x. Okay, now I will use one again identity that is sin square theta is equal to 1 minus cos square theta. Now I will take all the term to one side. So cos square x plus cos x minus 1 equal to 0. Quadratic equation in cos x. So let me write here cos x well minus b minus 1 plus minus under the root b square. So 1 square is 1 minus 4ac so plus 4 divided by 2a so it is coming out minus 1 plus minus root 5 over 2 so two values i am getting from here one is negative let me write here minus 1 plus root 5 over 2 and minus 1 minus root 5 over 2 let me write here minus 1 plus root 5 over 2 and minus 1 minus root 5 over 2. This is our cosine x. Okay. Now see this value square root 5 we know that it is 2.23. Once you will put this value over here it will become minus 3.23 and minus 3.23 divided by 2 that would be minus 1.6. So this value will be rejected because it is exceeding its range. Cosine x is lying in between minus 1 and 1. This is what we know. So this value approximately if you will check then it is minus 1 point something. So it is not in the range of cosine. So this value we will reject. So which value we will accept? That is only first value. So if I will write over there cos x is equal to root 5 minus 1 over 2. Then if you will convert this into angle. So it will come out. This value is uh, let me write this decimal value first 0 0.6180 which is equal to cos of 51.8272 degrees. Okay. Now for principal solution you can easily see 51.8272 is our answer for principal solution. If I want to write general solution then I will write x is equal to let me write here this is principal solution. Now it is general solution. I will write 2k pi plus minus 51.8272. Now the best part of this solution it will come. You can see this minus I will reject. This minus sign will be rejected. Why? Because of our equation was 
स्क्वायर रूट कॉस एक्स इक्वल टू साइन एक्स एंड वी डिड स्क्वायरिंग एट दैट मोमेंट सो दैट इज एक्सट्रीनियस सोल्यूशन माइनस साइन हाउ इट इज सी माइनस इज सजेस्टिंग क्वाड्रेंट इज फोर्थ यू कैन सी फिफ्टी वन डिग्री फिफ्टी वन डिग्री दिस इज फर्स्ट एंड फोर्थ क्वाड्रेंट बट इन फोर्थ क्वाड्रेंट साइन एक्स वुड बी नेगेटिव सो स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ पॉजिटिव नंबर इफ यू आर इक्वल मीन्स दैट लेफ्ट हैंड साइड इज पॉजिटिव एंड राइट हैंड साइड वी आर गेटिंग नेगेटिव दैट मीन्स कॉम्प्लेक्स सोल्यूशन सो वी विल रिजेक्ट दिस माइनस साइन एज इट इज एक्सट्रेनियस सोल्यूशन सो फॉर जनरल सोल्यूशन वी विल राइट एक्स इज इक्वल टू टू के पाई प्लस फिफ्टी वन पॉइंट एट टू सेवन टू डिग्रीज वेयर के बिलोंग्स टू इंटीजियर k belongs to integer i hope this video will be meaningful to you do not forget to like share and subscribe bye bye till next video friends good luck and take care of yourself